Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. This episode, Hanging Around, How to Hang Artwork, Mirrors, and More. Thanks for listening to another edition of the Handyman Pros Radio Show, where our goal is to help you save time, money, and aggravation. This edition is entitled, Hanging Around, How to Hang Artwork, Mirrors, and More. To help me explain, I've got my ever-cheerful co-host and old buddy, John. John, what's been going on this week? Hey, Larry. Well, a lot's been going. Actually, a lot's been going on this week. And I was working at a uh, at a house of uh, somebody that you you know that we've worked on some of their own other homes. And uh, you know, it's been everything from uh, doing electrical and wall board and ozoning uh, ozoning the house, getting ready to to rent again. And I got to tell you that <laughs> was I was uh, fixing a wall and in in the uh, laundry room, and I had to take out a big piece of uh, uh, wall board and a skeleton fell out of the wall and so <laughs> it's like you know anybody we it, know was it jimmy no, hoffa you know, was, was it like, jimmy hoffa like, that's the big no, question yeah, of the day i was yeah i was looking <laughs> i was like uh you know it's it's you know it's it, it was a big skeleton but it wasn't big enough to call the corner i don't think so i i kind of because it kind of freaked me out you know it hits the floor and explodes and it's like <laughs> what the hell is that but anyways so uh, that's kind of been what's uh, what's been going on this you know this week, and well, doing some other things for him, uh, you know as well. This week, as you know, I had a job where I was supposed to be hanging a mirror and a bunch of pictures, and we we kind of we've taught we haven't we th- we've thought about this as a show idea, but it really brought us to the forefront because uh, you know there's so many things like hanging pictures and hanging mirrors and hanging things on walls. Is it as simple as people think, John? Is it simple necessarily? No, it's not. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of factors, a lot of factors in there. Now, is it's not it's not uh, rocket sciences, uh, you know, obviously, but it's but it's something that you need to be aware of, especially if you're if you're hanging larger art that's that that uh, that has a lot of weight to it. Yeah, and then and then in this particular one, you know, in this particular one, we well, I guess what we're going to do with this show is we're going to talk first off. Let's talk about assessing the, the the job, as it were. So, if depending on what you're going to hang matters as to how you hang it. Is, would you agree with that? That's right. So, right. what are the what are the factors, John? We had already talked a little bit about weight, right? But what are some of the other factors? Well, you know, as as far as you know, de- the the decoration uh, goes, you know, not too high, not too low. That you know, where where are you going to hang it? Where's the location? So location, you know, right? The lo- the location of it, and you know how many that you're going to. Uh, you know how yeah. many things, how many how many you're gonna how many how many pieces of of either picture or art are you going to hang and how do you want to arrange it because to me a lot of times when I'm doing these things it always is you know I want to get I want to get this thing really put together and leveled out where it needs to be leveled out right and the pieces put together in a in a certain distance and and those kind of things so there's a lot that you really uh, should prepare for. Uh, before you go putting, uh, you know, hardware in the wall. Yeah, before you go and ding your walls up, which which creates, as, <laughs> as we like to say, right. creates and another you, job for us, <clears throat> which right. is repair, right? Repair of wall board. But yeah, there's a there's just a bunch of things, right? So it's very different if you're hanging a small one. If you're hanging one small picture, is a very different job than hanging, say, a heavy mirror, right? Or on multiple pictures so i've done several collages for people and in this case particularly one that comes to mind went well two actually one's at my house but it came down goes down the stairwell you know and you go down the stairwell and you want to hang that collage on the wall that's a very different job than hanging up a, a, a one single picture on the wall right and so what are, so that's when we talk about this assessment we want to think about what it is that we're actually hanging and how do we want it to look yeah um right exactly exactly when you're talking about you know these these pictures especially you know you really have to um canvas the area shall we say yeah it's really help- yeah <laughs> yeah right <laughs> but um boom 
uh, you know, hanging around. Here we go. Hey. Um, but anyway, yeah. So those. So that's some of the in, the initial uh, initial things. Um, and the and that actually leads to the next part is like, what supplies do you actually need, right? Because John, you know that hanging something heavy in mirrors are, are usually the, about the heaviest thing that I hang. But a good, you know, if you're if you're hanging a hundred pound mirror. You need you actually need a different type of hanger. That's not something that you drive into the wall. That's something that you actually need to affix to the wall, as I call it, a fixing to the wall. That, that, that's right. You know, we need to be at we need to be into a stud somewhere to get a positive fix on that. Not a uh, not a, um, a just into the drywall. To me, that's how I do that anyway. Um, and and again, that's different than just a lightweight picture which you can drive into the drywall um, because there's different things. So go over some of the things as far as tools and supplies so let's talk about supplies how do you hang stuff and what do you hang it with right well okay there's a there's a couple of things um i'm in terms of a very heavy piece of of uh art or a mirror okay and i'm talking about what you just alluded to was a something something in the 50 to you know 80 pound or above that is going to take something that's uh you know you can buy them in in the in the big box stores or you know the the local hardware store and it's kind of looks like a, a double z and i think they call them either french cleat or um you know i think the name is maybe a hangman or something like that now what's nice about these is that they're going to span the width of let's say 16 inches which is the studs in behind the wall so you can actually get these things into the studs and then put the other uh, side of this thing on on the heavy on the heavy um, article that you're going to hang right that way and it slides a little bit back and forth but once that thing gets leveled up and you put that on there it's very safe and I think that's what you need to kind of take away from that conversation is to make sure that things are are safe you know especially if you have little kids coming around they're touching things you know you don't want any you know I know there's a lot of products out there that say they're going to hold X amount of weight in drywall. Um, don't believe it. Don't don't yes, don't believe it. Don't believe it. And 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 to that also you're also protecting the asset or you're you're protecting that your, is you correct. Know, you're protecting your mirror. The last thing you want to do is a, a truck drive by, drives by down the wall or down the road, you know, and it backfires and the next thing you know it causes you, a vibration and that mirror comes out and goes smashing to the ground and it's, know, and it's busted. And That's a that's a that's a great observation and it goes and, and I should have thought of that when I was talking about it because you know, other people in the other side of the walls can be knocking on the walls and things. And, you know, a, a lot of there's a lot of movement going on. A lot more than people realize. We, uh, exactly. We, we've talked about that in other shows and things like that, about how much there, it's harmonic vibration just in a building. Anyway, with that said, so that's on the heavy side. So there's Z cleats. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. There's also you can actually do it out of wood. You can make a cleat out of wood and, and yes. things like that. But that's that's on the heavy side. For light things, right, I'm just going to kind of jump into light things. It can be as simple as a finishing nail or it could be a regular hanger or it can be you know a, a, a true picture hanger that goes in at an angle and things like that you can use those you can use uh, what else you can buy specialized hangers there's some drywall ones that you just screw into the wall and well, they work really well and i will tell you that i'm really fond of these little hangers that um have a have a little pin with them yep. and you can find them and this is an awesome hanger and it holds you know uh, probably up to about 30 pounds, actually, these things. And they work great. They go in at a 45-degree angle on this little special little thing that they – a little clamp or a, a hanger that they come with. And it doesn't make much of a hole in the wall right. at all, Right. which is great for people that are in apartments – uh, you know, That's or you for, anybody. It, or for anybody, <laughs> for, anybody. for anybody. So you don't have to, because at, at one point, you know, you might've had to put, you know, big screws in the wall or mollies or, you know, those big cl uh, clamps and things like that. Uh, but these things have really served me well. And, you know, you can hang, you know, the, if you have wire on the back of the picture, um, you know, strung across both sides of the picture on the back, it just goes up there. It's, 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 uh, it works out wonderful. Yep. Yep. And I'm with you. So, 
so that's, you know, th- I guess here what we're talking about is think about what you're hanging and, and a few of the concerns. One of the other things is what tools are you actually going to need, right? So you're going to need some tools. If you're doing those kinds of the things John was just talking about, you basically need a hammer, you know, a very lightweight hammer, and you can tap those things in. If you're doing a, a cleat on the wall, you're going to need a drill, and generally some long drywall screws is going to be better, you know, set up to handle the weight to put those kinds of things. But one of the other things that we always we always like to mention is the best way to hang pictures, you need a level, right, John? Or you need a, maybe a laser level or a regular level, depending on what you use. I use a laser level because I have one, but I've also done it with my regular level just as well because the last thing you want is the picture to be off kilter, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, laser laser levels, of course, are, are wonderful tools. Uh, if you just have a like a, a, a long level, uh, that's great. And I will tell you that you know before you even get started, you kind of figure out – where you're measuring on the wall, where you want to put it, hang this thing, you know, put some lightly, lightly, put some tape on the wall, some of that blue uh, painter's tape on the wall so that you can start to mark on it without marking on your wall. Yep. So you can draw little X's and, you know, centers and things like that. So then you can go off of that and, and level the two so that you have a, a good solid level without marking up your walls. Right, and that and that's particularly, um, if you're doing multiple pictures, it's a great way. Now, I, again, I use a laser level because it'll shoot a line across the whole wall. Right. But I'm not telling everybody to go get a laser level, but to, to your point, take your regular level and then put some blue painters back, back to that blue painters tape we talk about all the time. Yep. Put the blue painters tape up there and just and, and make marks on the wall of where things are level so that you know, because you want it to be level. It wants to be visually appealing and Folks, if I tell you this story, you're going to believe me, right? You're not going to believe me. You're going to think of 14 places you've been where the two pictures are off by an eighth of an inch, and you look at it, and you go, it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. And it'll bug you and bug you. Yeah, and there's something you. just not something right there. Something just not right there. It's like, you know, and, that, and, yep. that's, and that's one of the things. So this brings up, on, this brings up kind of, so here's an action tip when you're hanging pictures, particularly when you're hanging multiple pictures. And I learned this. I've learned this several different places, but most recently I had a customer actually do this. I walked into the house and they had it all laid out and I thought this was awesome. So what my customer did is she took um, her pictures that she wanted to, to put up on the wall. And this happened to be down a stairwell, which is a, a whole nother thing that we'll get into that in a second. That's about like, what kind of ladder do you need and things like that. But this was, this, this ap- applies to any time you're hanging pictures. She took the, she took the pictures and she put it on pieces of, of just, she used old, I can't remember what she used. I don't know if it was scrap paper or newspaper or whatever, but she had pieces of paper and she had cut the size of the pictures out in the paper. And then she took blue painter's tape and she actually taped them up where she wanted them. And because she had pictures that were different, Different sizes. She had a particular order that she wanted mm-hmm. on it. She put it all up in there, and I walk in the house, and she's got it all laid out the way she wants it. And she writes on them, you know, this is the picture from mm-hmm. New York, and this was the, on the paper. She writes picture from New York, picture from X Y Z, whatever it was, the various different pictures. And I was like, man, that's an awesome tip. You know, I need, I really need to share that tip. I've used it before multiple times but just when i walked in there she had already done it i was like this is awesome you know i just I, it just spurred my memory that that this was awesome on how do you do that so that's kind of one of that's just a little tip that really helps you on the layout side because especially if you're using different size pictures it's really easy if the picture frames are all the same size then you know you just basically level it up and it's good but when you have a bigger one and a smaller one you know and, and you can change it before you ever go back to john's point of putting holes in the wall you do it with this tape you say oh i don't like it there i like it here you know and you, and you get a chance to kind of look at it and then in your mind's eye, you'll see the picture up on the wall. So that's one of the tips. Um, then we were also talking about, actually, if you're doing anything like like either high or low or anything like that, what other tools would you need? Well, one thing is a ladder. And, um, John, I know for me, when I'm doing any of these stairwell things, I use we have these multipurpose ladders that actually allow us to actually create a scaffold out of them, right? Can you explain that a little bit? Right, right. Well, these are, you know, like a multi-ladder, and most people will know what these things are when they see them. These are the ladders that have the individual legs that will extend or shorten, and they'll they'll take the uh, the shape of a stair, right? Yep. So you can you can put them on a stairwell, and stairwells can be very tricky, especially in modern homes where the stairwells are are pretty big, they're pretty deep, and can be pretty high. And you don't want to be rigging up stuff. Uh, at least I will. I don't want to be. I'm not. <laughs> rigging, no way. Rigging, rigging things up, you know, across this and across that and across a ladder. I mean, there's ways to do things, but with a multi ladder that you can actually um, create the shape of the stair with the with the legs and things like that. Yeah, super where you safe. Can get up. 
super, super safe, safe, super easy. And and that way you can get up into the stairwell. Yep. And 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 do what, exactly what you're saying because, um, you know, I, I think that's a great tip is to put is to put uh, you know pieces of uh, placeholders, let's say pa- paper for, yep. for where the where the pictures are, so that you can get down off the ladder in ca- in this case in the stairwell, and then take a look at it. Yeah, from from so one of the other tips that I always like to give is look at it from the back of the room, right? And mm-hmm. look at it from multiple angles in the room because what looks right straight on doesn't necessarily look right when you enter a like a maybe not a hallway, but you enter a long room and if you look at it coming into that long room, sometimes it doesn't look right as you approach it. So it really is helpful when you put that paper up to kind of get the full visual like on a almost 180 degree visual mm-hmm. if you can to to give you an idea of how, you know, is it really going to look right? Because I don't know about you, John. I mean, we don't mind it as handymen because we get paid basically by the hour to do these kinds of jobs. But make it simple, you know, and give yourself – don't punch holes in the wall. Good. Oh, my gosh. Um, don't do that. But, I mean, it really helps. So, anyway, so that's, so that's kind of one of the tips. What other t- are there any other tools that you would really need, John, that we're thinking of? You need a, you need a ladder. You need, you need tape. You need um, a level as well. Well, you, you know, and a lot of people have them, and you can get them, you can get them pretty inexpensively as a stud finder. Um, so if you're, if you're going to go ahead and you're going to hang something, um, that's heavy and you need one of these, these, these Z type of, uh, brackets that you need to go into the studs and yes. you can find, you can find this, you need to find a stud. But John, so, I, I heard a story that every time you turn yours on, it always goes off. It it's always just, points it's just at, going, well, it's going off over me. you. Isn't that what it is? It always points at me. <laughs> always points at me. So it's pretty useless, <laughs> but, uh. So, sorry, I digress. Uh, <laughs> just happens. Um, anything, I, I don't think, there really isn't anything else that I'm thinking of. You know, you need, you need if you're using screws, you need a screwdriver or, or a screw gun either way. But, but generally, it's only for heavy things that you need to use a screw for. And, yeah. and that's kind of its own construction project, in, in my opinion. Right. And I think, I think going back to the point of assessing what, this, what the pictures are, if they're, they're heavy or they're light, and when you go into a in, you go into the hardware store, you go into a big box store. You'll find uh, a lot of different ways, uh, means to hang hang the picture. Now, they have all those all those types of uh, you know pieces of hardware that you can use to put in the wall. I will say then on the converse side, you know, on the other side of the pic of the picture, but um, okay, but um, <laughs> is that you're going to have to you're going to have to make sure that the uh, the rings or you're going to put um, wire across two rings on the back. You're going to have to have some way that the picture actually hangs on that, on that associated hardware on the wall. Right. So a lot of times pictures don't come with, you know, they, they don't have wire on the hardware. back or they, or, and sometimes, and then sometimes they have just those little center things that are up in the middle that are kind of the V shaped things and all of that stuff works right. But if you're hanging something that doesn't have that on there, you need to think about that beforehand too, right? Does it have rings? Does it that's have a, wire? Does it have a way to right. hang it right up? Right. Now I will say that a lot of people that, that out there that you, 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 all you folks might have older pictures and things like that, that might not have you know, something that's very conducive to hang on the, you know, that, that has, uh, the pictures have anything on the back that are conducive to hang on the wall and things like that. Now for something that's not real, real heavy, what I have found that I've used, <laughs> you know, in a pinch is, um, the, the top of, uh, like soda cans, those little, those little rings, you know, those little rings, if you break them off on the top of a soda can and you, you can actually screw those on the back of a, of a frame and 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 bend them out and use them as hangers. Oh, you know, it's <laughs> it's perfect because it gives you the opportunity to go and have a beer while you're doing this project because you have to have that ring, right? Right. You have right. to. So exactly after for, you're off the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. So so if you come to my house, you'll notice that all the pictures are sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was I supposed to use? Was I supposed to use a Johnny Walker top? Or what? <laughs> See, so it's perfect, um, right? Yeah. So, anyways, I mean, there's 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 things like that, you know. And I carry I carry picture wire with me. Yeah, okay? I do too. Yep. Um, and I have some other wire as well that I carry. But that that always, you know, I I've been called over to my my neighbor's house, and you know, to, they had a bunch of artwork, and you know, had a wire had a wire it all up. And I will I will give you another tip here is that. Just because the picture has two rings on the back doesn't mean that those rings are level. No, it does not. So always measure from the top of the picture frame down to the, each ring 
to make sure that you know that you're dealing with you know something that's off a half inch or they're level <laughs> because when you go and you level on the wall and you're going to wind up with the picture sideways uh you're going to think you're at john's house when he's had yeah, too many cocktails right. that's what you're going to think that's that's what you're going to think <laughs> Exactly. So, so it's just a, a couple a couple of things to look for, and that's why I think when you when you when you talk about hanging pictures, and it's, it's not as easy as just you know, well, I'm just going to put this up on the wall. Right. 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 Especially it's really we're referring to multiples, really. You know, but even still, you go to hang that picture, and, and those rings are off. Yeah, it does not look right. So, um, all right. So let's. So one of the other tips that I have is when you actually hang the picture, right? And sometimes, you know, if you don't get the wire completely centered, or or you're you're off just ever so little right to left when you hang that picture, right? You know how that sometimes they'll lean just a little bit. There's or action. or or the vibration in the house will kind of knock them a little sideways. A little sideways, and yeah. you're always forever walking by and going. Hmm. Huh. That thing doesn't look right. I got to, you know, you're always tweaking it. Always tweaking. It. Yeah. And yes, that's a great one, John. You're, you're right on the money. You walk by it and every time you walk by it, you like tweak it, right? Now, we've all been there, right? We've all had yep. that picture. And you don't really want to move it on the wire necessarily because it, it, it's optically, it's between the wall or it's, it looks just right. Right. So what's the tip, John? There's a couple of different tips, but they're all of the same basic ilk, right? Right. Right. Now, what I do, I know that you've got a couple. Right. But what I what I use actually, I'm going back to the painter's tape. I take the tape and I roll it back onto itself, <laughs> and then stick it and, up. And, and I put it on the back of the picture, and then I put it where I want to, and that way it doesn't hurt the wall if I have to take the picture off. Yeah, and I use I use a similar thing. So I but sometimes depends on depends on the picture, depends on the weight. But sometimes that's I right. use, sometimes I use double sided tape, but that's not preferable because it does. It's good if it's really heavy and you need it to be really fixed right and you need it strong um but but generally like i'll use i've started using um you know the command strips you know that you can pull off they yeah. work really really well you put one of those on there you know and then you can, if in the future oh, there you go if you want to take it off you just pull it off and then so you have so that's one of the things that i've used um sometimes i carry little rubber you know the little like not not the felt pads but the little rubber bumpers that have an adhesive on one side and yep. you peel the adhesive off you stick it to the corner of the of the of the pictures on both sides on the, the bottom edge and you sit those on and they work the rubber will actually hold it there for things like vibration and stuff so if it's just mo you know if the vibration is moving it a little it's bit it'll hold it'll hold it in um i've also used actually in a pinch i've used like plumber's putty it will do the same thing where it doesn't mark the wall but it'll hold it there so mm -hmm. um if you if you're thinking in that method you know you'll come up with something um, to do it. There's a bunch of different things, but any one of those things really works well. Um, and they, and they're non, non, they don't mar the walls up and stuff like that. And it's just kind of one of those little tiny tips that not everybody knows about, but it's out there. And I, I really, lately, I really like the command strips because if it's, if you don't like it, you just pull that strip off. It doesn't mark the wall up. And it's really a, when it's a fixed, it's a fixed. Um, mm -hmm. it's really, really, really good. So you got any, you got any other like quick tips on hanging pictures? Cause we're going to, we wanted to describe like what happens if you decide you don't want to hang the pictures and you want to talk about hiring a handyman to hang the pictures. So we wanted to give some tips on doing that too. Yeah, No, I think, you know, I, I think it just, you know, boils down to, um, you know, from a decoration, uh, perspective, is the, the light in the room if there's a light on the on overhead make sure that you know you have that thing on first so you you know where you want the picture and and, and all those kind of things so what i'm what i'm referring to here is that it it takes a lot of it takes a lot of forethought and preparation more than than a lot of people uh realize that it does so that when you do get done doing this that you look back and say okay that's that's exactly the effect i want exactly right so all right so let's talk a little bit about let's just say you've got a project and say it's down one of those stairs and you don't feel like you don't have a multi-ladder you don't feel like buying one you want to hire a handy guy to come do it what are the things that you're looking for when somebody calls you to do this kind of project um you know with with today's technology i certainly would like to i certainly would ask if somebody could would would be so kind as to send me, you know, some pictures off their phone of what those what those pictures or paintings are, and also of the stairwell, just so that I know is there is there ten pictures is there, you know, five pictures how big is the stairwell what am I getting myself into what kind of other tools do I need, you know if I do have to bring a, a certain type of ladder out there do I need something I mean just it just helps me prepare 
I would also ask them, have they thought out how they would like these pictures put on the wall? I think it goes back to your um, example of the initial assessment, right? Of the lady, of the yes, of of the lady that 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 put all the uh, the you know the the paper uh, up the paper up uh, the paper up on the wall, and I think that's an awesome idea. Now, somebody could do that, and I've asked people to at least you know because it just cuts down time. OK, right. that that we don't have to sit there and and, 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 sh- and they don't have to go through what they want to do with it. Now, if they've already thought this out, then wonderful. Um, I can come in, do it and get out. Yeah, um, it just saves everybody time and money and, you know, all the aggravation of anything else. And, and it's and it's done. Right. So for me, I, I want to know all the things we already talked about. What are you hanging? How heavy do you think it is? Mm-hmm. You know, where do you want it? Um, and all of that kind of information. And then like you, I like the pictures idea and where are we going? And then I do want, I generally want people to think it out because I, I don't consider my, I, I guess one of the questions that I, per, this is a personal thing. I don't particularly like it is somebody says, well, what do you think? And I'm like, my co- standard answer is um, it's your house. And so I'm not living, or basically it's, I'm not living here. I don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's really your call. And that's where I like to make sure that when somebody comes, like literally when I walked in and she had all the paper up, I was like, man, this is awesome. This is like, a, yeah, this, is, I, this made it quick and simple and easy. And, and she knows what she wants. And that to me was really, really, really nice. So I, I agree. I agree a hundred percent. And that's, and that's, I go back to, you know, you can snap a picture of a, a you know, with your cell phone, send it to me, text it to me. And, you know, if I see a big, <laughs> I, I was doing a job one time and I asked for that and then I, I saw a great big, you know, like an antique mirror and I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of a different animal than the rest of these pictures, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, now, now we're into, now we're into a little bit deeper, you know, discussion of where you want that and how we're going to hang it and those kind of things. Um, but it's, it's those kind of things because a lot of times people just call up and say, Hey, I just need some artwork hung up. Well, okay, great. But yeah. uh, what, what's it's, it going nice to cost? Give- I, I, I want a quote on getting some artwork hung. What's it going to cost? Uh, right, right, and we've and I've had that where you walk out and, and, and somebody had fifty pictures. Right, exactly. Yeah. So those are the things when you're when you're thinking it through. Just if you're going to hire somebody and, and the handyman or whomever you're going to hire, think about those things because to get, you're going to get what you pay for. You know, you're going to they're either going to do a good job or not. But it's simple things like making sure because if a, if a person knows in advance, they know what to bring, and a lot of it is what to bring. It's not all we don't. Not everybody carries all the tools that I carry out on the truck all the time. And so with that said, you know, preparation is everything because the last thing we want to do as handy guys is but- is go back and have to go get something because it's just going to kill our day right so. yeah no ex- exactly right like when they, when i see a big mirror like that and then i say well i've got a lot of different you know hangers and fasteners in my in my car and truck but i'm i don't i don't generally have like a like a z bracket hanging no, around no <laughs> so. and neither do i because they because they also come in different lengths and it depends on exactly. the size and we're not going to inventory that kind of stuff because we don't use them they're infrequent. I mean, we know how to do them, but I'm not going to carry that. I mean, I carry all the other hanger stuff, most of it, because it's in my kit. You know, it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. I got my picture yep. hanging kit, and I just walk in with that kit, and that's fine for that stuff. But when you get just a big, heavy stuff, I definitely, I don't, I do not carry that kind right. of thing. So, right. All right, John, anything else that, uh, that we've got as far as hanging, you know, hanging around, as it were? Hanging around, hanging around. And um, I, I don't, I don't have anything else. I all think right. it was a uh, good discussion. Yeah, I think so. I hope that you all have gotten value on it. By the way, join our Facebook group and join the conversation. So we're out there on Facebook. We created a group. If you have any questions, you can contact us via the Facebook group, or you can contact us at questions at handymanprosradioshow.com. We love getting your feedback and your questions, and if there's anything you'd like see, to see changed in the in the show or whatever, please let us know. And um, with that said, John, I think I see a spaceship. Oh, my God, it's landed, John! And what do you do? I'm not sure. Should we look at it or should we take it apart? That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this podcast and have derived some value from it, here's four things you can do. One, tell your friends about this podcast. Two, hit subscribe on your podcast player. While you're there, leave us a review. Three, subscribe to our newsletter by going to handymanprosradioshow.com and click on the subscribe button. We'll inform you of upcoming events, shows, and give you actionable tips for maintaining your home and property. And four, send us an email with your questions to questions at handymanprosradioshow.com. That's handymanprosradioshow.com. That's our show for this week. Thanks for listening. 
We'll see you next week on the Handyman Pros Radio Show. Thank you.